Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to go over the top 10 accessories that I use with my 3D printer the most often. Uh, there are a lot more that I use, but this is going to be the group that I use the most often, almost all the time. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of go over all of those, kind of talk about what they're used for. This video is geared more towards beginners, uh, but there might be some good information in here for the experienced hobbyists as well. But if you guys have any questions or, or have any feedback, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first accessory I wanted to talk about was this X-Acto knife set. I use it all the time for cleaning out my prints. It has three different size blades that I use and then a bunch of different types of blades that come with it. I'll link to this one or something similar uh, in the description below. I can't remember where I picked this up from. I think it was Amazon, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this with the extra tips has really been useful because it allows me to uh, really get into some of the areas uh, that are sometimes difficult to reach on the parts. Uh, having these fine tip blades up here uh, really does help for some of the um, more difficult parts. Um, but then having the larger one like this helps if I'm just trying to make some uh, quick adjustments. Uh, the last thing I'd say about this is if you have kids, uh, make sure you keep it in a place where they can't get a hold of it uh, because obviously these are sharp and can do some damage. Item number two, and I'm not doing these in any particular order. Uh, these are all the um, accessories that I use all the time. So it's not like I use uh, this the second most often. Uh, so I wanted to point that out. These are all good, uh, really highly used items. All right, so this is bed weld. Uh, if you can see here, I've got a glass build plate on this. Uh, anytime I'm using glass build plates, I like to use this in place of glue sticks or hairspray. Uh, it does a very good job and I've had no issues with it. I've had this bottle now for probably a year and a half and it's probably 90% full. So this will last a long time as well. Um, but yeah, you just apply it like you would a glue stick. Uh, when the bed is cool, it'll heat up and you won't have any adhesion issues. All right, now for item number three. Um, this is a PLA glue. So if you're printing parts uh, that actually have multiple pieces that have to be glued together, uh, there are a lot of options out there as far as glue goes. And at some point I'll be doing a video doing a comparison. This is my default go-to for the glue, at least for now. It does work really well. It doesn't make a mess and it doesn't really smell bad. It has a slight odor, but nothing that you can't uh, deal with when you're working inside. Um, I haven't tried this for ABS. I believe this is PLA only, um, but I will link to it in the description below. But I do use this pretty frequently. As you can see, the tube has gone through some of it. Um, but I, this tube is probably about a year old as well, so it does last a while. All right, the next one I've got here is really just like a putty knife used to help break some parts off of the bill plate if, I, if they get stuck. Uh, it's typically not an issue if I'm using uh, PLA on glass or anything like that, uh, but sometimes I have had issues getting ABS off, and that's when I fall back to this. One thing I want to note with this is you want to be careful. Um, it's not too sharp. You're not going to really cut yourself, but you don't want to damage your build plate. So I only use this when I need to, uh, but it is something that's nice to have around, and it's not expensive either. My next item that I have on the list are these needle nose tweezers. I believe they came with one of the printers. I don't remember which one, um, but I use them all the time. Um, I use them for like cleaning filament off of the nozzle or trying to pick up some of the strings or even sometimes trying to work with some of the smaller screws if I'm working on any mods. Uh, just a good all around versatile tool and something that does get used frequently. Um, probably the most frequent of any of these tools, uh, if I had to be honest. Uh, so if you don't have a pair of these around, I recommend getting them. Next here, I've got just a generic Allen wrench set. I've got both metric and standard. Um, but if you're like me and you lose the ones that are individual that come with the printer pretty often, uh, I like to have a set like this that I just keep around. I use it frequently if I'm making adjustments on the belts or anything like that. So if you look here, I mean on the printer, you've got uh, the Allen wrench bolts up front here. So if you have to make any adjustments really on the belts, take apart the fan duct cover, or really do almost any work at all on your printer, you're gonna need some good Allen wrenches. Uh, if you want it to, you can um, spend a little bit of extra money and get the ones with the T-handle as well. Uh, this one did come with a T-handle adapter. 
like this, they just go into it. Um, I find myself not really using it that much, uh, but there are nicer ones out there. It just depends how much you want to spend. I think this set was under 20 bucks for everything. Next here, I've got these X-Acto knife cutters. It's kind of the same principle as the X-Acto knife, um, but it's more of a cutting fashion instead of just using it more as a knife. Uh, I use them all the time when I'm working with cleaning up parts and also when I am uh, changing filament and stuff out too. If I'm going to be putting new filament in, I'll use this just to just do a quick 45 cut on the filament just to make it feed easier. Um, but I believe these did come with one of the printers as well, uh, but you can buy them individually. But if you don't have them, I highly recommend having a pair around. Uh, they make uh, doing part cleanup and just general maintenance a little bit easier. All right, the next one kind of follows the same line. Uh, they're just needle nose pliers. They are really good for helping clean up parts, especially if you're printing supports. If I print tree supports, I'll grab them with these first and kind of just rip them apart gently and then use the X-Acto knife cutters or the X-Acto knife blades to help clean up the rest of it. Um, so I use these ones pretty often as well for that purpose. And then following the same cleanup pattern is a cutting board here. Uh, I use this uh, when I'm working on any of my nicer countertops just so that if I'm cutting or trying to clean up any of the parts I am cutting into this board instead of my countertops. There are larger ones but for pretty much every situation I've come across the smaller one here has been fine. Um, but if you don't have one, they are good to have around. They do also help with measurements as well. So it depends what you're doing if you're trying to make cuts or anything. Um, but I'm mainly just using it as a cutting board. There's two sides as well. The last item on my list here is a pair of digital calibers. I use these all the time when I am fine tuning my printer and calibrating it. So I use it for calibrating east steps, measuring the probe offsets for my BL touch, uh, using it to get the measurements that I need for flow rate adjustments, etc. Um, just they're really good to have around if you're doing much of 3D printing and they're not that expensive. You can get a good set for under 20 bucks that are fine for hobbyists. Now if you get into the professional grade ones, those can run you several hundred dollars, but for what we're doing, there's not much value in that over the $20 ones. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right, now I have a couple bonus items here. Uh, the first one is this Raspberry Pi. Uh, it, it also has a touch screen on it. It's not exactly a accessory that you have to have, but it is something that I use pretty frequently if I'm printing with Octopi. Uh, if you haven't messed around with that at all, I recommend um, just giving it a try. It's fun and it does make managing the printer a bit easier, especially if you're not by your printer. Uh, the next one, or I guess technically the next two here, these are really for mods or people modding the printer. It's just a set of uh, T-slot nuts and three millimeter bolts, basically covering any of the parts or bolts you might need if you're working on the printer. Um, they're good to have around if you're doing mods. If you're somebody who's just printing things, I wouldn't necessarily recommend them because you'll never really use them. But if you're making mods, it's definitely good to have. And they've got a variety of different sizes in this little kit. And it's not that expensive. And then on the same note with the mods, if you're doing stuff like adding the BL Touch and using off-brand parts, uh, it's probably good to have a spool of ribbon cable around. Um, I've had to use it a couple times for running my LEDs and then uh, I bought a generic off-brand BL Touch and it didn't have, the cable wasn't long enough so I ended up having to use it. Uh, this roll, I probably used about 25% of it total in the last year and a half or so. So it will last you a long time. And then I've got random strands all over like here's a piece that I had a leftover from one of the other projects I was working on when I only needed a couple strands. Uh, so if you wanted to buy something like this just to keep around, it's worth having if you're doing mods. Um, maybe wait till you need it the first time and then buy it, uh, but it's something that you might want to consider just keeping around. Alright guys, so that covers the top 10 accessories that I use. Uh, now I know this list is not all inclusive. Uh, there are different accessories that other people use. I just kind of wanted to go over what I use personally and not just another generic 10 accessory list. Um, but these are something that I use pretty frequently, so that's why I felt it was worth covering. If you have any accessories you feel should be added to the list, go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment below or just reaching out on Discord. I hope you guys liked this video, and if so, go ahead and hit that like button, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.